Thanks for joining us today. This tutorial shows you how to embed video in email which plays automatically at the moment of opening, just like this example. The first phase is to create your itchable campaign. So we have logged in and created a new campaign and named it Playable Tutorial. We now select a pre-built template from the template builder. On the Edit Template screen, we drag a HTML block into the template, where we wish the video to be featured. Once we have finished editing, we click Save Template. We are now going to create our video content. Firstly, we'll need to log into Playable. If you don't have an account, it's free to sign up. Simply visit the Playable Get Started page. Once we are logged in, we are greeted with our welcome page. From here, you can administer your Playable account. Today, we're going to add a new video. So we click Videos, which takes us to our video dashboard. And then we click the Add Video prompt. Firstly, we need to create a title for our video. This is for admin purposes only. We'll name ours Playable Tutorial. Next, we need to confirm the width of the video to be displayed within our Itchable template at 600 pixels. We're now ready to upload our video content to Playable. We can upload content as a video file from our computer or as a link from a hosting platform such as YouTube, Vimeo or Instagram. Today, we're going to upload a file from our computer. We select File, drag our file into the specified area. The upload time will vary relative to the size of the video. During the upload, Playable creates a 10 second edit of the video as an option for you to use in your email, though in most cases you will wish to edit the video to create your own clip. Prior to editing our video, we need to select a still image, which will be shown to any recipient viewing our email on legacy Outlook email clients. We do this by selecting a frame from the video as our static image. To commence editing our video, we click Editor. Our objective is now to create the most compelling video content with a maximum duration of 10 seconds. Our video is now shown in the editor with an area framed by a dotted line. This represents the video which will be embedded within our email. We can move this area to select our preferred area of the video. To create our video email content, we select Video Clips from the video using the Timing slider and the Add Click panes. We need to keep an eye on the duration of the edit, which is shown here. Once we are happy with our edit, we click Continue. We now have the option to add a range of enhancements to our video. These are designed to help reinforce our messaging. We can add captions, which appear at the foot of the video, at time intervals we select. We can add or remove a click watermark. We can add an end card, which may be our branding or a call to action. And finally, we can include a footer with a call to action. We now click Compile. Playable now creates over 100 versions of the video. It is these which are used to deliver the very best video email experience for all recipients, relative to the device and connection type on which they are viewing the email. The next step is to add our click action. We click the menu item which gives us three choices. Today we're going to redirect any recipient who clicks on the video to our website. So we add the URL and save it. We have now completed the editing of our video email clip. We can now preview our video across the major email clients and also send a sample to our colleagues for checking by simply completing the form here. We are now ready to embed the video within our Itchable template. To commence this, we click Embed. Here we select Itchable, then click the button Copy to Clipboard. It is this HTML which we will add to our Itchable template. We now return to Itchable and paste the HTML from our clipboard into the HTML block we set up earlier. We can now see the video playing within our template. We click Save and Preview. From here, we continue to review and launch the campaign. Thanks for watching and please get in touch with any further questions.